everyone, Dean Seifert here with Bird Reel. Got some exciting news today. We've got the launch of the HM01 Smart Hummingbird Feeder. And this video is gonna take you through what comes in the box of that feeder. We'll go through this pretty quickly, but this is the box for the feeder. We've got uh, the front side here with a uh, nice picture of a hummingbird. We've got some information about the nectar tray on the side. We've got some features on the back and then specifications on the outside. So opening the box, we've got the designed by experts, loved by birds tagline. And the first thing you're gonna see when you open the box is a warranty registration card. We highly recommend that you register your device as soon as you get it so that we have the serial number. And if you do need any troubleshooting, we can look you up easily. On the back side is a QR code that will take you to video tutorials that will tell you all about how to use your feeder, how to install it, how to set it up on your phone and how to get the most out of it. Then you'll have the quick start guide. We've redesigned the quick start guide for this hummingbird feeder. We think it's a lot easier to read uh, with much more detailed information about how to use the app and how to use the device. So please refer to that as you're going through the setup. And then there's some information about a mounting pole system that you can get at Wild Birds Unlimited that is specifically designed for the hummingbird feeder. And on the back, it talks about some Nectar Fresh, uh, which is a nectar solution you can use to use in the feeder. So let's jump into it. First thing we're gonna find at the top is the charging cable. This is a regular USB-C to USB charging cable. You use this with a regular power adapter to go ahead and charge the battery in this device. Usually when you get it home and you set it up, it should have enough charge in the battery to get started. But if you would like to be safe, you can always plug it in uh, and it's a replaceable battery, which we'll talk about. Uh, you can always plug it in and get a full charge before you start. Then we've got a couple pieces of protective styrofoam. You can take those out. Then you're gonna come across the mounting flange. So this is a, sta a stainless steel flange that can either be used to mount on a fence or a post, or the bottom part can be used with the uh, Wild Birds Unlimited APS pull system. There's an adapter called a tube feeder adapter that screws right into the bottom of this, and that can be mounted directly on top of the APS pull system. We also have a packet of screws. These are mounting screws uh, that include anchor or wood screws. And then the thumb screw is also in here, which attaches the flange to the back of the feeder. The next thing we're going to find inside the box is the roof unit. So as with all uh, bird reel devices, we have two solar panels built into this feeder that come through a connector at the bottom. This is what keeps the battery charged uh, all day long as the sun is shining. So definitely want to use this and plug it in properly when you go through the setup process. A couple more pieces of styrofoam. And then we get to the main body housing of the feeder, which looks like this. So quite a bit different than our other smart bird feeder. In this case, the camera is mounted directly into the housing of the feeder. It is not removed. But in this case, it is charged by a battery that is, sits on the side and you can remove that battery, plug it in, get it charged. And when you're ready to put it back in, you just simply slide it in and close the door. So once this is mounted outside, you really don't have to bring the device in any longer. You can just use that replaceable battery. And then our final piece of protective styrofoam and the nectar tray. So the nectar tray design is quite a bit different than other devices or other products that you may have seen. In this case, we actually have a top lid that is colored with red with the flower uh, holes on it. And then we have a bottom or a middle tray, which is where the nectar goes. And so this will hold eight ounces of nectar and it's easily removed so that you can take this out and clean it. And then you have the base tray. The base tray has a moat around it, so you can fill that with water to keep ants from getting into your nectar. And it also has the center area with holes in it. So if you do want to, you can put loose seed, uh, bark butter bits, any kind of uh, songbird seed in here and use this as a songbird feeder as well when it's not hummingbird season. And then this simply slides in there, the cover goes on the top and you're good to go. And just to show you how this all goes together, it's quite simple. This is the uh, feeder uh, housing unit. This slides onto these metal hooks like that. And you just want to squeeze that down to put it in place. Then we're going to take the roof and we want to connect 
the cable to the roof housing so that our battery stays charged. I want to do it this way. And then we line up these small pegs here on the side and snap it shut. And there we have it, the fully assembled HM01 Smart Hummingbird Feeder. Look for us in other videos to talk about how to set this up and pair it to your phone, as well as how to mount it. And check out our other video tutorials about the Bird Lover app so you can get the most out of that as well. Thanks for joining us today and happy birding. Thank <laughs> you.